Oh. This fur very nice. I like fur because it reminds me of a Russian childhood. It reminds me of a Russian childhood. Okay, guys, so welcome to my Q&A edition. I have a cup in my hands. I'm at the YouTube space. It's in a really weird kind of cool setup here. So we decided to film here because it looks like winter. Um, and I don't actually have anything in my cup. But anyway, so we decided to do a kind of a personal video here with Andrew about some questions you guys send over and also talk about some process, like how do we film things? So when you guys request things, so you know why it takes so much time for us to get certain things done. Uh, so the first thing I guess um, is I'll answer your questions and then I'll give you guys some announcements. So let me get my fur off. All right, the first one is, how do you find the cast for your videos? Finding the cast for our videos is challenging, challenging, challenging work. Honestly, it's very difficult. So I had to go through casting sites, um, you know, and like, like that, that was a difficult process. Before I went to, to Germany, actually, I spent two weeks casting from Italy. So I wasn't going out, like I was sitting in my, in my uh, room and just uh, casting. So just so you know when you ask me like can you please 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 do an Irish video can you do an Icelandic video can you do a Middle Eastern video whatever just know that it's honestly like it's not up to me all the time it's basically how long it takes us or me to find the actors for each episode and sometimes it's like there's I just don't find a good actress or a good actor and then I don't want to put out an episode and everyone says well that that actor or that actress sucks or they're not what I was thinking so sometimes it's just better to wait and and do it like the, the 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 good way question two it's kind of an interesting one do you feel attraction is not a choice i don't know i mean andrew do you think attraction is a choice <laughs> or is not a choice i feel like it's not a choice right i think part of it is the decisions like the things that you choose to make valuable yeah but that's about it yeah i mean at the end of the day you can't really choose who you're attracted to and not yeah, I don't, you're right, like I don't think you can choose. It's interesting the way you guys phrase that question, like do you think it's not a choice? I think it's not a choice, I think you're attracted to who you're attracted to and it's obviously not always the, the right person for you, but it's just how it works. I'm gonna actually pick up the iPad instead of staring at it. Good afternoon from the US, I have a question specifically for you Marina. You mentioned that you're Russian and you live in Canada, is that this correct? Would you say that you prefer or are more comfortable with dating culture of Russia or Canada? Well, let me tell you, neither, honestly, neither. Um, I'm going to be very terrible and say that I don't like either one. Um, I find Russia, and I've been out of Russia for a really long time. I've been out for years. I came when I was 12, so I guess like I'm a mix. But the thing with Russia, like, first of all, you know, Russian men are quite spoiled uh, because there's so many women and, and I just don't, I don't personally like the Russian approach. Why are you so serious? Let me get you a drink. So I don't find that attractive. Um, it's very kind of like, um, what's that word, Andrew? Like, it's very like, put like not pushy, but it's like Russian approach, like kind of aggressive, but for me, not in a very sexy way. Um, Canadian is the opposite for me, Toronto at least, I haven't been to other parts of Canada. It's the opposite, it's more like there is no approach. It's like a very polite kind of approach, or it's very, not very personal. Um, there's not a lot of, like I mentioned this a lot, but there's not a lot of flirtation. People are not very passionate, they don't really say what they think, they're very politically correct. And for me, I'm a very cut through person. How do you say that? Cut through? Like cut, cut and dry. Cut and dry. Exactly. Like I like to say what I think. I guess that's a Russian part of me. And for me, I like the guy to kind of do the same. So if I had to choose, I would probably go with, um, with Europe. Europeans. That's Maybe neither. Yes, neither. Um, next one. Would you say that dating in Europe is very different? compared to dating in Canada or the United States. Oh my God, yeah, 100%. But also we have to understand that like dating in Europe, Europe as a whole is very different. If you guys have seen my videos, um, like the Danish style of dating, the Scandinavian style of dating is completely different from the Italian style of dating. I got, by the way, really hated on my Italian video because I portrayed Southern Italy, Northern Italians are very 
pet piss or not. Uh, but anyways, just the point is like, it's very different. So Europe is very different. But of course, North America is very different from Europe. Like um, dating in, in North America, it's a lot of games. It's a lot of rules. It's a lot of like, people don't really know what's happening. Um, it's just, it's just a very complicated. And I think Europe is just a little bit more straightforward. Though again, it depends on where you go. Friend in the Netherlands is kind of similar to Canada and that a little bit. But I still find like, like people can just have a conversation um, and like you don't really have as many, as much small talk, as much superficiality, which I really prefer. Uh, I like that. I like that a lot. I curled my hair today and I came to set and it's raining and it's snowing again and it's like wet snow and this is what happened. So my only attempt at making my hair look good failed miserably. So next question is how can I make suggestions about videos? I usually leave a comment underneath the, the video and you guys don't answer it. So Okay, so so many people leave comments under the, the videos and it gets kind of crazy. What we wanted to do is we wanted to create another place you could come and give us feedback. So we're doing that on Patreon. So if you want to give us feedback on our future videos, you can come check us out on patreon.com slash dating beyond borders. All right. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah, perfect. So now you guys know you can just check out our Patreon link below. Go there, leave your comments, vote on, 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 on the videos. And also you get to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff and stuff that you don't get to see if you are on the YouTube channel or on our Facebook page. Okay. And, which brings me to the last point, you guys, uh, we do have, we are coming up to 100k, finally, it's been a year, literally, like last year. This time, this day, I was at 3,000 subscribers, so it's been a pretty cool growth, and we are so close to 100k that uh, what we're going to do for that one is actually just feature you guys. So I've already um, reached out to a couple of fans, uh, but this is a message for all of you guys that wanted to contribute to our 100,000 subscriber video what we are going to do for that video is have you guys make your own video but what dating beyond borders means to you and not necessarily the channel just the idea the concept of it and make it up to 45 seconds and make it as funny and as creative and as inspirational as you want you can just keep it like this talking to the camera as a vlog style or you can go all out and just no no words needed you can make it all conceptual it's really up to you but please no longer than 45 yeah, seconds please. maximum length of 45 seconds because we want to be able to include as many as we can okay guys so thank you for watching i hope you like the questions and i hope that answers some of your questions if you have any more just put them down below i'll answer them in the next video and i'll see you guys next week with a new video keep on breaking down your bears so very nice. We sit on log and we drink hot tea. We wear a lot of fur. It's very nice. Winter Russia. Very uh, romantic.